go. Here we go. Hey everybody, it's Ryzen 51 here. Welcome you back to more Spyro. Let's say Spyro Reignited Trilogy. We did Terra Sillage. We did Misty Ball. Now it's time to confront Treetops at long last. Oh boy, I am not looking forward to this one in the slightest. But, another shot. Let's hope for the best. I do, I do like seeing the trees in the background, though. Go through here. It's it's very nice. It's a nice touch. All right, and here we go. And yeah, this this jerk here is gonna wake these guys up. Right off the bat, damn. Well, I'm even faster to take them down, but I guess not. I can never tell what these were back in the original. I, I, I can see another they do definitely like monk. I am going to die immediately before I get a chance to get much progress made. Did I miss one? I oh, only did for some reason. Big guys aren't a problem to take down, it's the little guys that are actually a pain. They're all bananas. I'm not stopping you. I see you. Oh, you still got me in the corner there. Okay. Well, not the corner. I thought those bass were going to hit the wall there for that corner of the wall there. Uh, he was throwing them at me. Shoot. I didn't die to supercharging yet. I just died from uh, um, those guys. Catch this time. So I want to do the same again. Had a few couple of failed attempts on it, but they're all right. They did make it a little bit tough on this one. I have a something to mention about down here, but uh, you have to like literally like jump off off the at least the edge of the ramp to get some good, good progress. While waiting, Spyro. For an amazing tour of the treetops, don't just stop at one supercharge. Huh. Yeah, not just one. We gotta stop at a mini. Alright, here we go. Let's do this. Yep. Alright. Okay. Alright. No problem. Nice. Very first attempt. Okay, that was fantastic. Oh, you little bastard. Now, since the gem thieves don't, or the, uh, the, the dragon thieves don't have any gem, uh, dragon eggs anymore, they're, uh, take, uh, purple gems usually. Most of the time. Yeah, hello, Jed. That was quite a ride, Spyro. You learned a lot since you were a young glider. Yeah, well, you could have found an easier spot to get stuck. Yeah, you could. Don't raise your arms up at me, boy. <laughs> I know it wasn't... I mean, if you guys would just get your mouth shut on Nancy Nord, none of this would have happened. Oh, yeah, it's all trash about them. Especially calling them ugly. How dare you. Oh, that was my fault. Ah, oh, shit, I hesitated on that one. That's my first step on the on the super treasure ramp, though. <laughs> <sighs> oh, excuse me. <sighs> uh, just a little sleepy. Well, that's not fine. I got good night's sleep. I just uh, a little sleepy. All right, let's uh, get that our shot. I don't know if it's actually on the super treasure, which uh, you'll go to in this way. 
probably should just go ahead and get what's here. Stop. Stop throwing your damn ass in here. Rainbow there, we're going to get to reach the top here above the return home warp. I just got to remember where I had to start from. I mean, I'm thinking I want to start for the opposite, uh, the opposite of where I was at. What, 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 the way they go to is probably where I need to go to uh, use those ramps. Especially you get this uh, chest here. I just want to make sure there's nothing else here. No, that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, I have a joint Discord. One second. I just want to check something real quick, folks. Apologies. <laughs> on Discord, just we'll see if I'll free. Not today, though. I'm gonna be hanging with my bro on Skype in a, little bit, in a couple hours or so. Watch him do some checking out the new Bristol Noel game that I've been uh, looking forward to um, seeing. <laughs> Since it's a come out for, uh, UK. It depends on time it's Ultimate Randomizer, by the way, if you're, uh, if you're wondering. Yeah, it's Ultimate Randomizer I'm waiting to, uh, hang on a second later on to watch him, uh, play, uh, um, try to do some car push for the league yesterday. Looking forward to see uh, how, how that goes with him, and I'll be ready to play it soon myself, uh, Tuesday. So, I'm definitely excited to try it out. I'll be a little tired to work, but, uh, I'll still have time to play it. I'm ready to have, I'm looking forward to playing it regardless. I may even stream it, too, uh, as well, I get the chance. Isaac. Now, let's see with the KO. Spyro, if you jump at the end of a supercharged ramp, you can really go far. I'm all over it. Let's do it, then. It's all the dragons, too. Okay. This one first to do that. Oh, Nelly. Oh, there's Spyro. Okay. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and head on back. It's, it's a short trip back. It'll take us that long to reach back to where we left off. I could have purposely died and lose an extra lose a life, but. Ah, rather not. See, it's not really a long way back. Not take that long. How's it going be there? Oh well, that's okay. All right, all right, here we go. Okay. Oh no! 
Oh, I thought I had it right. Oh, shoot. Oh, I was a bit short. Damn it. I was ready to go perfect on this stuff. No, actually, never mind. I want to go perfect. Anyway, I did die once in one of the. Uh, so I, 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 I do there. That, that, that's my fault. Okay, that was my own fault there. I screwed up. Alright, let's give that one more try. Don't hit don't mean you. That's the uh, I think it's like the part four Shante the Pirates Curse. Crap. I get it. A little to the right next time, Ryza. You <laughs> would be a would have been fine. Fuck. Alright. Let's give that another shot. Too bad, actually. It could have gone worse, but uh, we did good. We did good. All right. Now we only one thing to do now, and that's to go fight the boss, which is Metalhead. Now this one we'll have to be a little careful because I am do uh, the next skill point requires me the perfect Metalhead, so I can't I can't take a hit. That part I'm gonna be a little concerned about, but I will try to be cautious. So it's only like two rounds you have to go through a metal head. I just turned all the all the metal rods. As long as I'm not sparking electricity, as long as he's not throwing more enemies at you. Now the little monkeys now have like armor around them to use. So now you're gonna have to actually charge them now instead of uh flaming them. I just had like a bunch of buckets and pots of pans or something on them. <laughs> hey, hey, whatever works, works. Alright, um. Let's see. Ah, uh, Metal Head, that's not too bad of a level. I do kind of like it, it's a, it's a pretty good level. Up there to get some stuff, but uh, oh, here we go. Here we are. I always got tricked up around here. I, I always got tricked up here, wondering where to go in Metal because I was missing something, and then I didn't notice the gate there. Kind of busted open a little, and, and there was a basically some room to get in there. Like, oh, I didn't know you can actually go under there. 
So it, it did surprise me about that, so it did help too, help progress. Attention to the original before, but now uh, I'm quite curious. Oh well, I guess we'll never know. Uh, I hope they like like some like, balls they want to use instead of metalhead or something. We had a fight. <laughs> that would have been concerning, but uh, hey, it'd been like a random little DLC to try out just for fun. Yeah, I mean, if it like if it were a thing or something. all charged up to meet you. Attacking the power pole should disrupt his power supply. Okay. Gotta be careful about head here. I think those shockwaves are actually new. I don't remember... I don't remember that being an attack. I could be wrong. Yeah, Metalhead looks really cool. I do like how he looks, and this included in here. This is really great. I like this. You can definitely consider this now to be something you see in a sci-fi uh, uh, horror film, probably. I could see that in a way. I mean, you never know. Whoa! Another thing I missed here before. I didn't even think about checking the waterfall behind the waterfall here. When I played this originally by myself, this this tricked me. I did not think about this at all. Well, we don't have Sparks' ability to find gems and all in uh, the original Spiral. Yeah, it's, this makes this much more difficult. But now with the gem detector for Sparks now on for Spiral uh, one here on the Reunited Trilogy, this makes this a lot easier. So so much better, <laughs> but without it, it was a good challenge though to work with. It was a nice challenge. I do appreciate a challenge. Lots of gems here. Oh, gosh, it's so many to collect here. Okay. So we're at five gems. Uh, last I should be yeah. Those are three reds, and the last two are bl uh, the last test, and there's blue, uh, green, I mean. Not blue. If it was just blue, then it was only five gems, we only need one blue gem. There we go. And again, uh, another jump I always had trouble with before, but no problem there. Okay, Mel has 100%, and we are done with Beastmakers. Alright, with 8,000 gems. In our, in our collection now. Okay, um, well, we're near 20 minutes, so yeah, we did, we definitely had time to go to uh, finish uh, Dreamweavers, at least the main the main part Dreamweavers first, and then uh, we'll do the level and probably do the uh, the flight there as well. 
Oh, wait for uh, Sparks. Let's get you back to the now. Oh, I feel much better now that so many dragons have been rescued. Jump in the balloon, and I'll show you the Dreamweaver's world. Are you ready to go? Yep, great. I am ready to go. Let's go, my friend. All right. We're in Dreamweaver's now. We are just about finished with this with this game now. Well, Spire 1 at least, yes. But we are getting pretty darn close. We just got to do Dreamweavers, then Nasty's World. And then we could start uh, Spire 2 next. Dreamweavers and hold on a minute. I, I don't know why the clouds, the pink clouds, turned into like cotton candy. That's cute. Yeah, we got that uh, whole machine up there like four. We're gonna have to get to the minutes and change the size of these enemies. The armored ones are fairly. These guys aren't really much of a problem. We just can't charge into them. They're big, but when they're small, though, they would. Like Dark Passage, that'll be probably the first level we'll do in the next episode. Oh, I mean, yeah, those big guys on top of that we can't charge in at all with the arm with the big and big and armor. Yeah, those were her, they will not go for us since uh he won't take them down because they're obviously uh they're always gonna block the way for a reason. Alright, go ahead and blow those up. Lofty Castle... Not... Well, I think that's probably one I'm not really a big fan of. It's a bit of a pain on that one, but it probably won't be as bad. Oh, Queen Latifah. <laughs> I made that joke before. Welcome to the Dreamweavers, young one. While chasing Nasty's minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. Will do. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> the Queen of I, I know his name is Latif, but the Queen of Tifa. I do respect Queen of Tifa and everything. She is. Ah, uh, yeah, shocks. A uh, couple sessions there are real pain yes. And I think we can actually go on the nasty store if we want to. Well done, Spyro. I hope you know what lies in store for you. Nasty's world is not the friendliest place you'll ever find. Are you ready to go? Not yet, Amos, but we will soon. I think you have to collect a certain amount of treasure. Is it either treasure or more dragons you have to say? No, we didn't we say no dragons. I think it's treasure again for that one. Alright. Well yeah, we'll do uh Um We'll be doing Nasty Swirl last. Because of course, well that is the final world, but we're gonna do it once we finish uh Dream Years completely. I'm gonna try to control that gun. We can fix this now. Whoops. Gosh damn it. Alright, no, no. Move this. Here we go. Why are you still aiming at him? Over there. Now you will. That's better. It's Como. Hello. Hello, Sparrow. Nicely done. I'll be done when I've toasted that nasty Nork. Damn right. 
We say it's 60 now, there's still... I, I don't have my point. You hit me so. Damn you. Well, yeah, even, even when they're small, they can still attack. When they're big, though, they can be a little more threatening at a time. No, you can still, they can still hit you when you hit them. So, on the towers, uh... Probably another annoying one. Again, another section that's quite annoying to get through, but... Uh... We'll get that later. Yeah, I should the full. Hello. Get this quick. Yeah, it doesn't mean by the loud noise when the, uh, when the timer's up or anything this time. So it's much calmer. Ozzy. The fools you see in this world are invincible, but that does not mean they shouldn't be attacked. Sounds all right to me. Yep, sounds good. All right, all the dragons have been saved. Good. I'm making sure this time I didn't miss anything. I think we're okay this time. So now that we took, now, now that we shot those two armored uh, armored enemies from earlier, we can go ahead and head over there now. Let's take a nice relaxing glide over. Because why not? Oh, wait, there is a skill point here. Secret room. Yeah, this is something new they added, uh, I think, in um, compared to the original. Though, I am curious if it, if it was in the original, I would I would really like to see what it looks like. I'm gonna probably say I doubt it, that it was a thing, but. Sorry. Oh yeah, it's actually right here. You think he holds this pedestal? There you go. There's your secret room. Pretty cool though. I like that. Yeah, if you just get a little close enough, yeah, it'll, it'll, that, that wall will start moving. I like that. That looks so cool. takes that second platform instead of the first. That's what I need, but yeah. Oh no. I am missing three gems. Are you serious? Are you for cereal, bro? Oh man. Well, let's go ahead and do I see flight, and then we'll look for those last three gems. So this is our final flight of the game. It's probably a tough one. It's this is uh, kind of a tough uh, flight as well. It's a little challenging, but uh, we'll see how we do. I'm starting over now. <laughs> Miss that lighthouse completely. I don't want to miss it because I don't want to waste it. I don't want to lose time because of that. There we go. Really? I missed that too. Yes, 
had one hiccup. We did it though. I probably could have done it what when we missed that first lighthouse by accident. I just had a strategy of going the opposite way that I went to do the barrels and the uh, helicopter and norks. That was the only reason why, so that was my fault there. My mistake. <laughs> Uh, let's just go find the last three gems. 100% dream, the main dream dreamers area. Then we'll stop the recording here. So we're a little over 30 minutes in now. Slightly. Not not that bad, though. But, uh... I'm trying to be too crazy with the uploads. And so, or, uh, down, uh, you know, upload videos at such high, at high times. So they would be too R. Well, it's RPG, so we spent... Jeez, give me long two times. For Pete's sake. It's right there, actually. Alright, so, we're all done with Dreamweavers. And what's the next game in the guidebook? Haunted Towers. Okay, Burn Blue Wizard Hat. <laughs> okay, sure. I'll see if I remember that. Uh, so we can stump, and we have the perfect Jacques. Oh boy, that's gonna be a pain to do, but I will try my best with that one. Um, alright, so I will see you all, pardon me, for the next part where we do Dark Passage in, Spir in uh, Dreamweaver. So, until then, later folks.